An open future is on the horizon. Get it? Because that's the name of the operating system. Uh, Meta is opening its Quest VR headset software, now called Horizon OS, to third-party devices. Meta has already uh, included three official partners planning to planning on creating Horizon OS-based headsets, including a gaming-focused device from ASUS, a learning-focused device from Lenovo, and a limited-edition MetaQuest in collaboration with Xbox. Meta apparently wants its OS to become the Android of virtual reality. Uh, a major benefit for users is the ability to bring profile information across devices and device manufacturers and cross-device compatible programs and games. Uh, Adam thinks a major downside for users is the ability for Meta to track even more of you. Uh, which is, I'm sure, 100% uh, of the reason why they want to do this. Yeah, uh, that seems like the reason anybody does anything <laughs> these days. Oh, we released this new pair of software. It's open and free. <laughs> we get all the informations. Uh, discussion question. Would a default platform shared between various headsets be a boon to VR? Do we trust Zuckerberg to be the man with the plan? Uh, what's in it for Mark? After the mediocre launch of the Vision Pro, is Meta feeling bullish or bearish on the VR market as a whole? What about you? A lot of questions, actually. That is a lot of questions. A I'm a computer range. tethered guy. Yeah. My headset's a screen. One of the reasons I switched to the <laughs> index over the, the uh, I still call it the CV1, because I was a DK1 boy. Been there from the start. Yeah. Get in there for the dev yeah, stuff. Yeah, me too, yeah. Uh, is because the Lighthouse system is a little bit more open to third-party trackers and, like, tracking and things like that than maybe a closed system or even inside out, right? Um, but, I mean, I would like to see the software at least being a little more open. Um, I don't even see why the headsets couldn't just be, like, tethered headsets, but you would attach a computer module to the headset. So you kind of have, like headset driving companies and then maybe also headset display companies right uh, like yeah. if the index had a plug on the top and i could just pop a oculus android phone yeah so it. it's really turning into like computer and monitor yeah instead yeah. of all in one device yeah yeah i like the idea of like a someone putting a sticker on their headset that's like my other my other vr headset is a computer monitor yeah yeah uh, just, i mean that makes sense yeah a lot of the good stuff uh yeah i think they're shared between I think I think they're bearish right and I think it seems like it I think a lot of people maybe have been moving away from games because developing games for VR is really hard it's a very limited platform you don't really have too much that you can do uh, in the space and then productivity like is that better uh, you know I've got this here my head is unencumbered apart from some headphones and I do know people all of the people that I know that kept their Apple Vision Pros, mm -hmm. uh, and especially the people that I know that are happy with them, are people that travel a lot and work while they travel. I think that's um, reasonable. And and travel might even be that's a you know, very expensive productivity tool. What are yeah. your productivity gains versus um, the amount that you've spent on it? Like, are you making X amount of dollars more than you would? Or is it for fun? Or is it for writing? Like, I don't know. I think there's got to be a little bit of tech passion involved. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you've got the if you've got the tech passion and you can excuse it as like a productivity for work slash business expense. I think those type you of people sell it to yourself. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 I can. I can certainly see that. I think if I had the disposable income and needed that use case, then you know maybe I would buy it. I still haven't gotten to try it. Um, it seems to have disappeared. But I don't know. Just spatial computing is a a concept. I'm not sure. It's an interesting one. Uh, Avery Studio says, "Are they using it while in the middle of traveling?" Yeah, totally. Yeah, like you can I, use it on a plane, right? On a right. on a plane, passenger seat in a on car, a plane, something like on that. On a train, yeah. In an automobile, yeah. Um, people are definitely using them. I just I think it's a lot less common than obviously when it first came out. Um, Maybe it's kind of settled into its like six hundred more hardcore users who are actually going to get some use out of it than yeah maybe getting it and seeing that it's a toy unless you actually really want to use it like a super powerful computer is a good toy a four thousand five thousand dollar computer to play games on 
Very expensive toy, right? Yes. Yeah. As a productivity tool, also pretty expensive. You could can be, maybe you be, can be reasonably uh, productive on a laptop, but it's better to be productive on a desktop. So maybe that's the kind of comparison. And there's also some privacy benefits. Absolutely. Uh, if you're on a plane um, mm -hmm. and you're not in like first class because you didn't feel like uh, remortgaging your house <laughs> to fly somewhere. You could have bought two uh, Vision Pros. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then, <laughs> then other people might be able to see your screen and depending on what you're working on, that might actually not be okay. You might want to protect your slash fiction, you know? Yeah. All that sort of stuff. Totally. I, nobody wants to see your weird Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> I gotta buy a Vision Pro. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Hey, yeah. If it, if it helps the productivity of, <laughs> of, uh, of that, then yeah, why not? Um, how about a bike? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think you can take those on planes. <laughs> I, th I think they meant using it while you're on a bike. Uh, oh. I think maybe if it's a tandem bike and you're in the back, you could make it work. I think, what, it's 12 milliseconds of delay? Something like that? Maybe. I'm sure you could find a way to bike around with maybe it. Maybe once the FOV gets better. Yeah. I'm waiting for glasses. For me, yeah. super high quality AR glasses. We're not there yet, but yeah. That's where I'm okay with like, all right. Now I'm going to consider glasses being a, a productivity tool, right? My biggest thing right now is it's it's something that's going to go on your face. So if you want wide market adoption, it needs to not be really ugly. I think for me, I like the uh, like the solidarity, the solidity of physical objects, right? Um, when I'm being productive or I'm working on stuff, the last thing I want to be uh, separating my brain into is the management of my environment, mm -hmm. right? So I'm working on things and then suddenly there's a window here, but I need it over here or something like that. With a mouse, it's really easy to just boop. Um, but now kind of I'm dealing with floating windows and they have to be in 3D space and I have to manipulate them. And now I'm trying to conceptualize where my productivity is going. And maybe you would get used to that this is kind of, it's very new. Um, you know, I can do that on a computer. Maybe less experienced users struggle with that, right? I have no idea if this is a thing or not. So I might be talking about a thing that already exists. But something that you might like is if someone made an app where you could set up like a workspace and you could have multiple workspaces. Mm -hmm. And then the things within that workspace are contained to that like plane. You know what I haven't seen yet, which would be amazing for Inside Out and like the Oculus and even the Vision Pro stuff like that, is just fiducial markers. Yeah. You know, uh, this is where my computer marker, uh, this is where my computer monitor is. You just put a little QR code fiducial marker thing on the desk and now it is there. Or, you know, you yeah, put it on a coaster. You get, you get a coaster like this. Yeah. AR things are already a thing. We've already got the AR uh, amiibo things as totally. well. Yeah. Um, computer monitor right there. <laughs> and then it's just there. You want to move it a bit? You just interact with a physical object, right? Not everything has to be digital. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. And you could still, you could represent it in virtual reality with something that looks a little bit better with just like a, a like command orb oh, yeah. or something Absolutely. near that area so you know where to reach to grab it even if oh, it's if you projecting were in full, a larger full dive yeah right um but if you're doing some ar stuff then yeah then you yeah. can just see the coaster i, guess. I mean that yeah. kind of works already with the uh, you know index and individual trackers and things like mm -hmm. that they are represented so i don't know yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. pokeball marker yeah i like that use whatever you want yeah pokeball marker i don't know uh, mystical said that i don't Sure, sure. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you could change it to whatever you want. 